Okay, when you come into W3 schools, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to, for lesson four, this lesson here, go to W3 schools, come up here to learn HTML. You click on that. Then you come down here to HTML attributes. You click on that. And this is for people that are having a little difficulty in understanding how we're going to do this. Now, HTML attributes, let's, let's look this over real quick. It says all HTML attributes can have all HTML elements can have attributes. Attributes provide additional information about an element. Attributes are always specified in the start tag. Attributes usually will come with a name and a value in pairs like name equal value in quotes. The href, this is for your hyperlink, hyper reference links that allow you to, are all defined by the, by the character A for active attributes. This link address is specified in the href attribute. So let's come down here and look at that. And we're going to do this first lesson here real quick in this exercise. Click on this, and we'll come over here, and it goes, um, we're going to put down Richard Platt. OK? And I'm going to make a link to my website. So right here it says, um, this little paragraph here, we're going to say, this is how to link to Richard uh, Richard, let's do this right here. Richard Platts hyphen website. Okay, and what I'm going to do is change this attribute here to richardplatt.net. .net, and this link, this goes to Richard Platt. Okay, now I'll go ahead and run this code. So there it is. So if I click on this link, do a right mouse click and say open in a new tab, it'll say privacy here. Not sure what that's about, but we'll go back here anyway. This goes to Richard Platt. HTTPS, richardplatt.net. Hmm, should have worked, but I guess W3 Schools has some issues there with how they do things. So let's go ahead and refresh. First of all, I'm going to save my code, hyperlink, copy it, and we'll hit refresh. Okay, so I'm going to just come back and put my code back on top of that, paste that in there. I'm going to hit run, and there it is, Richard Platt. Okay, now what I want to do is come over here, and I'm going to um, save this code. And if you click the Save button, your code will be saved and you get a URL to share with the others. So I'm going to hit Save, and there's my URL. And then I take this right here, and I submit that to, I'll copy that link, and I submit that to um, Schoology and make sure that you turn that in for that one lesson. Now, you may have to do this for each one, and I'm sure you are going to have to do it for each one. So, okay, so that's that one. So we're going to kill this window up here. I'm going to come back up to the next one. Uh, the SRC attribute. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this one. Try this one yourself. And it shows this girl here. I just want to make sure you, you saw this lesson and you change it. And so this is uh, John Smith. Or whatever your name is. My name is. Okay. HTML tags, HTML images are defined with the image tag, and the file name of the image source is specified in the attributes. So it's saying this one right here is this girl, and it's this size here. I'm going to turn this down to, I'll say 300, and I'll take this down to 400. Let's see what it does. Oh, yeah, scaled it down and whatever. And it put my name as John Smith. So we'll come back over here again, and we'll say save our code. Hit save. And let me highlight this right here, the link. Just highlight that link, do a right mouse click, and copy link address, and then go paste that into your Schoology assignment for lesson four. Okay, so let's get out of that one, and we'll kill this window. And we're going to go back up here. So we did the example of the girl. Now let's go with text, height, and attributes, okay? Well, you saw I kind of did that the same with the last one, but I'll do it again. I'll, let's, let's make it this time 400 and make this one, um, I'll make this one 500, okay? And then I'll put down up here that I did this, Richard Platt.
Okay, run the code. Boom, there it is. So that assignment's done. Again, come up here, save the code, hit save, and then come over here, highlight this by putting your left mouse button and dragging over it. Do a right mouse click and copy link address. Again, put it in Schoology for that assignment. Let's go back, kill this one to here. So we did that one. The alt attribute. The alt attribute specifies the alternative text to be used if an image cannot be displayed. Okay, girl with the jackets, let's try it yourself. So again, the author attribute for Mr. or for Richard Platt. Okay, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, um, let's look at this for a minute. How do we know that's a girl? We'll assume it's a girl. I'll put down a little note here to make, get Mr. Platt to laugh. We assume it, like spell, is a girl with a jacket. Let's run that. Boom, there it is. Okay, where did it say that? Okay, that's the alt text. So if I put my mouse over it, it should tell me what the alternate text is, but it doesn't in this case. That's all right. I already did that assignment, so let's go ahead and save the code again. Again, hit save. Again, use your left mouse button, pull it down and drag to your right. Do a right mouse click, copy link address, and then paste it into Schoology. Okay, let's go back. Exit that window, go back to this next one, come down here, it says, see what happens if you try to display an image that does not exist. Try it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to put down my name here. Mr. Platt's attempt. Hope this works. Probably doesn't. I'm going to hit run. All I've done is put down Mr. Platt's attempt. I just want to make sure my name is on it. Again, save to code, again, save, again, left mouse button and drag, whoops, let's do this again, left mouse button where I get that bracket and I can drag, do a, do a uh, let me do that again, I did it, let's try to save that again, save code again, yes again, and I'm going to do this one more time, uh, I didn't want to do that, let's go back, oh there it is, so I'll highlight this, actually, Let's get out of that again. Let's go back. Got to highlight this correctly. Let's do from left, from right to left. Over here, right mouse click, copy link address, and then again to Schoology. Get rid of that window. Go back here. Let's scroll down. Style attributes this is the P style for colors red. Well, let's play with that. Okay. We'll come over here and say style attribute. Uh, I'm going to put down, say, by Mr. Platt. Okay. Now it says that the color attribute is red. Well, let's go ahead and run this real quick. Okay. Style attribute Mr. Platt's red. Well, I don't know if I want to use red. Maybe I want to use mm, olive. O L I V E. Again, I can't spell. So let's run it again. Ah, change the color to olive. Mm, let's go purple. P U R P L E. Let's run that again. Now I got purple text. Okay, that's cool. All right. Again, right mouse click or mouse click on this. Save code. Accept. Highlight this text here. Right mouse click. Copy link address. Paste it in your Schoology for the assignment. Okay, we got rid of that one. Let's come down here and get the next one. The lang attribute. The lang attribute is a document declared in the HTML. The language is declared to be U.S. So I'm going to say English for U.S. Okay, well, really nothing there to try, just that we're going to declare that's what the language is we're speaking. Okay, the title attribute, uh, uh, it's this paragraph, P title, I'm a tooltip. Let's run this one, figure this one out. Okay, uh, say Mr. Platt, uh, a header, and Mr. Platt, do this tool tip and let's go ahead and run it okay doesn't do anything I thought I was gonna run oh well oh that's up in the title okay I got you so we'll come down here and let's just change this okay we'll say mr. Platt is a chuckle head y'all can quote me on that and we're going to go ahead and run that. 
Yep, likes that, Mr. Platt's chucklehead. And, oh, here's what we did. We messed up. We said this is a title. I should have put this right over here. We'll say Richard Platt. Let's try it again. Boom. Yeah, there it is. Richard Platt. Okay, again, same thing. Save your code. Hit the press on that. Uh, again, highlight this text using your left mouse button, drag in from right to left, right mouse click, copy link address, paste it in Schoology. All right, let's get rid of that window. Let's come back here and let's see where we are. Okay, so we suggest the attribute values. Uh, try yourself, bad. Okay, why is that bad? Good, why is this bad? Let's look at this for a minute, href, href, Okay. Oh, I see what he did. He did not put the quotes in here. You got to have quotes in there. So let's go try that again. So we run this. It's going to go, uh, doesn't know what he's doing. So you click on that, nothing. Oh, looks like it did work. So this is a link. Okay. So he says it's bad. Well, let's go back and check that. Okay. So come over here. I always put quotes in mine for hrefs. Okay. We'll run that. Hit this. Okay. That works as well. Some browsers allow you to get away with errors like not putting quotes on, on links. It's, which they're showing here is a good example. So let's go ahead and run this again. I'm going to say Mr. Platt's good test of this link. So hit run. Okay, so now what I want you to do, right mouse click, save your code, accept and then highlight that, right mouse click, copy link address, and paste it into your Schoology for this assignment. All right, let's get rid of this window. Let's go back and see where we are now. So we did that. Okay, uh, P title about W3 schools. Let's try this one here. I'm not really sure what they're wanting on this. First thing I'm gonna do up here though is I'm gonna put up here in this header, I'm gonna put down my name, so Mr. Platt knows I actually did the lesson. Okay. You cannot omit quotes around an attribute if the value contains spaces. Oh, okay, so we have to come back over here and put down a quote. Come back over here and put a quote. Now, uh, if you move your mouse over the browser above, your browser will display the first word of the title. Okay, well, let's run that, see what it does. I'm not sure what it's doing here title about so if I come back over this pile, okay we can't admit this let's take this out one time see what happens take those out okay run oh there it is see about okay cool so if I come back up here and do um, let's do the quote and see what it does quote here. It's kind of new to me here, this one. Let's try this one out. Okay, so let's try now. Oh, yeah. Now see it says about W3 schools. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Again, come back over here. Save code. Uh, hit save. Highlight this. Okay. Copy link address and then paste it in Schoology. And I should be able to click on that from the teacher view of Schoology. Get rid of that window and we'll come back here. So we tried that. That was a pretty cool lesson. Uh, single qu or double quotes. Double quotes around an attribute are the most common in HTML, but single quotes can also be used. In some situations, when the attribute value itself contains double quotes, it is necessary to use single quotes. So you got shotgun and Nelson and all that kind of stuff. Let's try this one here. Okay, single quote. Let's go ahead and make sure that Mr. Platt did this. Mr. Platt. Okay, space. Okay. Yeah, okay, so here we got a single quote and we got a double quote. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, there's Shotgun uh, Nelson. And he has on this uh, double quotes. Let's come down here to this one here. Shotgun Nelson has that quote. Okay, it looks like what happened here. Let's go check this out. If you look up here, we, we look here, it's got, it's got Shotgun Nelson. So when we come in here and we run this code, 
we come up here with the double quotes, we see the double quotes. But down here on the second one where it says John Shotgun Nelson, when we put our mouse over this one, it only shows up the single quote. Okay, I got you. I got you. So both of these work is what it's saying. Okay, cool. Again, save your file, save your code, hit select. Exactly. Boom. Okay. Now let's get this window away. We'll come back. Whoops, we're here about COVID. You collapse that. Uh, I'll come back over here. And now what I'm going to do is go back to home. Kind of lost my, my way here. I'm going to come back here to HTML, come back down here to attributes, click the wrong thing. So we did the shotgun Nelson thing. We did all of this. We got the color red. We did all that. Title attribute. I'm a tooltip. Did that one. Did the W3 schools. Did the shotgun Nelson. Okay, we tried that. Now, I want you to write in your notes these, uh, these right here, uh, what all this means. This is good for the chapter summary. You can add that in there. I think we're good for now. So you understand, you run each lesson, you copy the, the link that you save, and then you take it from there and put it in Schoology. And that should suffice for that uh, situation. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, send me a message in Schoology. That's all for now.